Hey there guys and welcome back to Deadly Creatures, it's time for chapter 2 Which also happens to be the first chapter you play as the scorpion And let me tell you, the scorpion plays a bit differently from the spider But anyways, first of all, in the last part The scorpion got away from the spider after the, the, the uh, spider attacked it And now we're in this cavern Okay, let's see what this baby can do Got some pincer punches, I guess. Find a way out of the underground. Yeah, that would s seem to be a good thing to do. Pincer attacks, yeah, we know how to do that. And again, the scorpion's animated pretty well. I mean, look at those legs go. Oh crap, spider. It's not that spider, though. Oh, it runs away. And that's the stinger attack, our heavy strike can use that to break through blocks like when uh, when that scarab beetle is like blocking you can use the stinger attack to break through it hooray for handy moves and hey there's a bloody spider there so let's get him and he actually oh the stinger attack did kill him yeah the scorpion is pretty much a tank compared to the spider I mean it's super strong it's pretty bulky, but it's not as fast, and it's... The scorpion sections are less platforming-esque. They're more fighting creatures, and the spider is more like platforming. Or at least it will be platforming later on. I mean, the first part wasn't really that much of extreme platforming, because the spider unlocks more platforming abilities later on. Move unlock Tail Whip. Which is kind of like the spider's spin attack. Oh, and we can also like do a little dash if you shake the nunchuck like, a, like an idiot. But yeah, the thing shoots forward and kind of becomes hard to control, so it might not be the best thing to do. Oh. I guess we've walked ourselves into a dead end here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Maybe we need to go here. And of course, in the scorpion levels, there are also plenty of grubs to om nom 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 nom. So let's save up and... Let's see, that way, I think. What is that? Is that... Uh, it's a skeleton. There's a dead guy in here. And lots and lots of spiders. Did I seriously waste that one with a single hit? Sweet. Oh, and that one's dead as well. Well... Yes, there's always you. And that's a goner. Okay, any more spiders want to tango? Didn't think so. Okay, there really is like a dead person here. What was that? Some kind of pill bug? Yeah, I guess it was a pill bug. Grub, get in my belly. And a cricket. Oh, it's one of those green crickets again. They give you health upgrades if you eat a certain amount. So yeah, whenever you run into a green cricket, eat it. Like there's no tomorrow. And was that another pill bug or something? Oh crap. It's a freaking tarantula. It's not the tarantula you're playing as in the other chapters, but just some other tarantula. I mean, the tarantula we play as is not the only one in the American desert because the American desert's full of vermin like this oh finishing moves sweet okay swing the thingies down you stab it and you throw it oh bug blood on the screen nice but yeah that's another aspect this game kind of resembles God of War with bugs. The scorpion has some pretty brutal finishing moves. I mean, the tarantula might not have been the most impressive one, but there will be other ones later on which are pretty cool. Bloody pill bug. And grubs. Okay, where am I going now? Oh great, another tarantula. And it's taking my food. 
Son of a bitch. Scorpion's hungry. Get over here and fight. That's funny because I used a quote from Scorpion from Mortal Kombat because he's also named Scorpion and I'm playing as a Scorpion and that's funny. Or it's supposed to be. Shut up. Oh, nice tail strike there. Scorpion's got a pretty sweet arsenal of moves. Just pounding it with my pincers. And he's dead. Awesome. Oh, grubs. Gotta get grubs. And let's see where this tunnel takes me. Ooh. We're on some kind of plant root, I reckon. Yeah, that's gotta be like a tree root. Oh crap, lots and lots of spiders. And I'm pretty sure because we're fighting in a vertical environment now, or at least we're not on the ground, we are on a wall that's vertical. Oh, and there's a lizard getting killed by a spider because he got caught in the web. Poor lizard and... What's that? Is it like a wine bottle or something? Yay, more beetles to fight. Come on, get over here. Those beetles are pretty damn weak. I don't even think they... Oh, they can attack me. Come on, I want finishing move. Okay, I guess we'll do the finishing move on the other one then. Come on, beetle. Ah, crap, I killed him. Well, maybe this one. Why do I kill all my enemies in a single hit? How am I supposed to show off the finishing moves that way? Hmm. Guess we go up here now. Ooh, this looks... Tricky. Oh, crap. Wasps. I'm not so sure I want to fight those. Considering they can, you know, fly. And scorpions can't. Except if you're like a Gligar, they can fly. But, yeah. This one's not a Gligar, so he can't fly. Too bad. And save up while we're at it. You know my philosophy regarding save points. I've mentioned that before in... Like, Metroid and God of War and this. Let's see, I'm on the ground now, am I? I think I am. Oh, now what? Oh, it's another scorpion. And he's eating... And stabbing pill bugs and stuff. And he digs into the wall just to get the pill bug out. But then he sees me. It's an intruder of his territory. We shall now engage in mortal scorpion combat. Oh, what? I can do the finishing move already? And sweep him off his feet with the tail and stab him. And then we eat him. Yeah. Or we just take a few nibbles and we get a new ability. It's kinda like Mega Man, he defeats enemies and then takes their ability, so now we can dig. Uh... Okay. Weird camera angle. What, is this like a dead end or something? Why dig in there if there's nothing there? Maybe this is a... Passageway, or maybe not. The F. Oh, okay, I guess. Uh, well, let's give you the ability to dig and then just make you not need it to progress to the next area. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Anyways. Get your... Oh, more save points. Those are always helpful. And, oh, we're going outside again. Or at least back into this plant root thing. Where does this take me? Into another hole. With a digging spot. Okay, let's dig there. And dash through it like a madman. That actually tends to happen because, you know, to dig you shake the Wii mode and nunchuck. And sometimes when you stop digging but you're still accidentally shaking it, you will occasionally just dash away. Because you dash while also shaking the nunchuck. So, uh, yeah, I guess this room's a dead end. I mean, the only thing here was apparently one of those green crickets. 
And here there's a little... I only now discovered this. There's an, a button you can press with things like 1 or 2 on the Wiimote. And then you'll get this handy arrow that'll show you which way you're supposed to go. So yay, hooray for hint arrows. Because this game... Well, at least the designers knew this game was confusing as hell, so they put in a little arrow telling you where to go. But I'm pretty sure I just came from here, so I don't know why it's sending me back here again. Okay, we need to go over there, apparently. Maybe dig through this. Or at least we may be able to find, like, a little... Yep, just a little space they put in there for the lulls, like... Oh, the player's wasting his time. He's digging in places you're not supposed to. Or you're supposed to dig there, but they just put nothing there for the lulls, I guess. And we're really eating lots of grubs. I mean, again, where the hell does a scorpion leave those things? Again, I'm no animal expert, but I'm pretty sure scorpions and spiders don't really have big stomachs. Hell, I don't even know how their internal organs are arranged at all. I mean, do spiders and scorpions also have like a liver and kidneys and a heart and lungs and all that stuff? If any of you is a bug expert or whatever the hell they're called, like arthropods or something, I really don't know. Yeah, but if you knew the scorpion and tarantula anatomy then post so in the comments and explain it to everyone and now we've reached a wide open area kinda looks like a meteor crater so what's going on there this kinda looks like a digging spot I guess yeah the arrows pointing that way let's dig see what happens Oh, was that another scorpion? Oh, we can take you down. Holy crap. It's a dinosaur. Yeah, it's just a lizard. But it might as well be a dinosaur for the scorpion, you know, size-wise. Ooh, crap. Man, that thing's freaking fast. Boss fight? Escape from the Gila monster. Okay, that's a Gila monster, apparently. Thing wobbles like a really it's got really short legs for such a fat lizard okay we need to escape like how do we need to dig into the ground I guess ah that thing keeps bowling me over so yeah this isn't as much a boss fight as it is you know uh, just escaping from the boss. I mean, you have that in a bunch of other games. So, okay, just dig here. Is that like all? Or are there more? Eh, there has to be m Okay, here's another one. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, we did it. We dug through and we can escape from the Gila Monster. Tough luck, lizard. You're not getting to eat this scorpion today. But we will see him again. Anyways, that's all for this part of Deadly Creatures. In the next part, we'll be playing as the spider again. So stay tuned, and I'll see you later. Bye.